Hello friends. Today we are going to read Janice Goes to Chinatown. The author is Anuradha Sengupta. The illustrator is Kalyani Ganapati and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Janice Goes to Chinatown. So who's Janice? Janice is this girl here and it looks like she has an adventure when she goes to Chinatown. Where is that? Let's see. Janice, wake up, grandma calls. Janice jumps out of bed. Today is her last day at Grandma Liu's house. So, Janice's grandmother calls at her to wake up and Janice is all excited and she jumps out of bed. She is spending time with her grandmother, Grandma Liu. Janice had promised her family in Mumbai that she would bring back gifts, but she has not bought anything yet. Grandma Liu, can you please take me shopping? Janice asks. Grandma Liu lives in Tirati Bazaar in Kolkata. It is also known as Chinatown. So here is Janice's grandmother, Grandma Lu. And Janice wants her grandmother to take her shopping. So Grandma, grandma Lu lives in this place in Kolkata. It is called Chinatown. It's actually Tirati Bazaar, but what everybody calls it is Chinatown. Why? Because there are a lot of Chinese people that live there and that are in that bazaar. So there are a lot of Chinese things on sale there and uh, you can go find these things there. So Janice wants to buy gifts for her family in Mumbai. She is visiting her grandmother in Kolkata and she wants to buy gifts for her family so that when she goes back, she can take those gifts. So she asks her grandmother to take her shopping. Janice and Grandma Liu set off to explore Chinatown. Rickshaws zigzag. Their wooden wheels go clackety clack. Their bells go jingle jangle. The air smells good enough to eat. So here Janice and her grandmother are going in a rickshaw, a cycle rickshaw to Chinatown and the wheels are made of wood. And so you can, you can imagine that the wood is going clack, 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 clack on the, on the road and the bells, the cycle rickshaw has bells, right? Just like a bicycle or anything else. Um, and it's, it's, sounding you can hear the bells and there is this delicious smell in the air let's see what else they see there the first stop is mr lee's mr lee i'm going home to mumbai tomorrow what can i take back how about these purple plum candies Mmm, sweet and tangy, says Janice. My brother will love them. So the first place they go is Mr. Lee's. It looks like Mr. Lee has a sweet shop and he has all of these different sweets in it. And Janice asks him, what do you think I can take? And he suggests the plum candies that are purple in color. So these are sweet and tangy. Janice got one sample and she likes it. She thinks her brother will like them. So she gets that for her brother. 
And here is Janice. She is sitting in yet another shop on the counter and she is talking with the shop owner. Let's see who this is and what she has in her shop. The next stop is Mrs. Chen's shop. Mrs. Chen, I'm going home to Mumbai tomorrow. What can I take back? How about this black fungus? Put some in soup and it will cure sniffles. Ooh, that looks like a huge black ear, says Janice. My mother will love it. So what does Janice see next in Mrs. Chen's shop? She sees this black fungus. She asks Mrs. Chen, what can I take home to Mumbai with me? And Mrs. Chen says, let's take this black fungus. If you put some in soup, it will help with the cold. Sniffles are when you, you have some cold, right? Cold or uh, kind of uh, sore throat kind of feeling. And so when you cook this with soup, it will help with the cold. And that's what she gets for her mother. Off to Mrs. Wong's shop. Mrs. Wong, I am going home to Mumbai tomorrow. What can I take back? How about this beautiful lantern? It is the color of Gulmohar flowers, says Janice. My father will love it. So what is the next shop? The next shop is Mrs. Wong's who is selling lanterns, paper lanterns. So a lantern is a lamp with a cover around it like this one and it, it can be made out of paper and this particular one that Mrs. Wong shows Janice is the color of gulmohar flowers. They are very pretty flowers that are orange in color and Janice knows immediately that her father will love it and she gets the lantern for her father. The shopping is done and Janice is hungry. Grandma Lou buys dumpling soup and baozi buns. This is delicious, Janice says. So now that they're all done shopping, Janice is hungry. So her grandmother buys for her some dumpling soup and Bowsy buns. So can you see here? See, this looks like soup, right? It has some liquid in it and vegetables. And this looks like buns. So what are these? A dumpling is a ball of some flour. Either it is rice flour or wheat flour or some other flour that is rolled into a ball and it is usually steamed. It's cooked in steam. And the buns, the bowsy buns, are also balls of flour. They are like buns, except they are filled with some kind of filling like meat or vegetables, and they are cooked. So these two dishes are made in China a lot. They are very popular. And Janice thinks they are very, very tasty. Janice and grandma stop at a temple. It smells like incense. When people pass away, Grandma Lu says, they turn into spirits. We seek their blessings before we go on a journey. So their next stop for both Janice and her grandma is the temple. And what is there in that temple? You can see this incense, like agarbatti, right? It is something that burns and it gives off this sweet smell. And the temple smells like incense. And Janice's grandma tells her that when people die, when they pass away, they become spirits. 
and before you go on your long journey on your trip back to mumbai right from kolkata you should get their blessings at the temple at a table in a big hall people are playing mahjong the tiles go click clack the tiles are dragons and wind and flowers grandma says that is a lot more exciting than hopscotch squares says janice so what do they see next in a big hall there are people sitting down at a table playing mahjong mahjong is a game that's very popular in china everybody likes playing it it is played with tiles like these and each tile has some picture on it like flowers or the wind or this looks like a boat and there are dragons and the way you play it is uh, you know depending on the kind of tiles you get the kind of picture on the tiles you earn some points and you can win and you have to keep playing until all the tiles are over and so janus thinks it's more exciting than hopscotch you know hopscotch right it's the game where you draw squares on the ground and you hop in them so this mahjong janus thinks is more exciting on the way back home janus sees a woman reading a newspaper is that in chinese janus asks yes grandma lu says this is the only chinese newspaper in india you can only find it here in kolkata and so on the way back home janus sees this woman reading this newspaper and you can see it's not in english it's not in hindi or tamil or telugu or some other language it's in chinese and janus asks is that chinese and grandma lu says yes and it is the only chinese newspaper in india and it's only there in kolkata at home Janice starts packing all her gifts. Janice, you have bought gifts for everyone else, but what will you take back? asks Grandma Liu. Our memories, Grandma. Janice says, they were the best gift of all. So Grandma Liu says, hey, you bought all of those things. for your father your brother your mother you know what about for you what did you buy for yourself you didn't buy anything so then janus says i don't need any gifts i came here and i have so many great memories of my trip and that is the best gift of all of them i hope you enjoyed this story thank you The difficult words in this story are black fungus a type of mushroom that is used to cure colds lantern a lamp with a decorative cover around it sometimes made of paper dumpling a ball of dough sometimes with a filling that is steamed bauzi buns a type of bun with a filling of meat or vegetables that is usually steamed mahjong a game played with tiles popular in china try these questions put yourself in janice's position write a letter to a friend on the last day of janus's trip as if you are janus write about what you as janus saw and did on your trip you can also make up some things from your own imagination